Hey, what's up guys, Echo here, and I'm doing a tutorial on motion track optical flares. And um, you will need the Vita Copilot optical flare plugin. And um, for this tutorial, you should have that plugin, and also you should have some kind of knowledge on how to use optical flares. If you don't, then you can look at some other tutorials, because I won't really be teaching that in this tutorial. I'm just going to be teaching you how to motion track it. And so there are I guess three ways to motion track optical flares. The first way is that you can just keyframe the position for every frame or every three frames. And that is the bad way to do it. That's the inefficient, inefficient way to do motion tracking. The second way, which is what I'll be teaching you, is to use the tracker feature in After Effects. And um, I'll show you how to do that, so I won't really be talking about that right now. The third way is to have um, a camera layer, and you can just you can have a null object on on um, the light or whatever or whatever wherever you want the optical uh, flare, and then you can just parent the null object to the optical flare, which means that whatever position a null object is is optical flare's position. So um, if you don't know about that about parenting and null objects, then that's fine. But um, you know, let's get started. So um, to have the tracker feature show up on your window, if you don't already have it, just go to the window tab right up here and go to tracker, check that, and it'll show up wherever on your window. So um, let me just open that up real quick. And um, yep, that's it. So here's my clip. Uh, let me ramp it. So yeah. This is actually the exact sync from my last edit, but you know, whatever, whatever. So, um, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna track motion, not track camera, track motion. Tracking the camera is something kind of completely different, but um, it's pretty much making a camera layer. If you don't know what a camera is, then you should probably find out. But um, yeah, you're gonna click track motion and it'll go to the layer of what you're selecting. So um, I'm gonna track the optical flare to the moon up there. So let me just, so here's your, here's your track point. So pretty much what it does is, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, what this does is um, it finds a point. I mean, well, you're gonna, you're gonna select the point that's gonna find and then each frame is going to look for that point. Give me, give me one second. All right, sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, my parents called me. So um, yeah, like I said, you're going to select the point, and pretty much each frame is going to move in a certain area to try and find that point. So it'll get the position for that, and yeah. So you know, let's get started. So this box is pretty much the point that's going to find each frame. So you know, I'm going to make it just around the moon and yeah and this the second box the outer box is where it's gonna find that point in each frame so for example if I have it this big each frame is gonna look at that area and try and find the point so for example if you have a fast clip you know it's moving fast you know I, I suggest you make this kind of big but if it's kind of slow you know you could make it big but uh, it would be good to make it small, just so it doesn't analyze and it's faster. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make it a little bit big for this one. Uh, so, yeah. So let me see when I need to start. So I'm going to start tracking. I'll, I'll just start tracking right now. So let me move this to here. And um, let's get started. So... Here are your analyzing options. So the play is going to just play and just run it. But if you want to do it one frame at a time, which could, which is a good idea because sometimes analyzing isn't always perfect. You know, it could be off. But for now, just for the sake of time, I'm just going to play it because I think this is a good, good clip to track. So when you play the analyzing thing, it's going to find the point and it's gonna record the position of that point each time. So um, 
if you're if it's kind of a hard point to find, I suggest you go um, use the keyframe one keyframe at a time. And yeah, see like right there it kind of got off track. So I'm just gonna go back and don't go back using the analyzing tool because when you go back using the analyzing tool, it's pretty much gonna reanalyze every frame, and that's not good. So just go on your cursor, see where's the last point. And right here, I'm just going to move that back on track. Let's see, go one frame at a time. And it seems good. Since my clip is moving kind of fast, I'm going to widen this out. And yeah. Is it playing? Yep. So yeah, this is pretty much exactly what I did for my last edit. This is exactly spot on. So let me just go a few more frames and then for the sake of time I'm just going to go straight to the optical flare. So come on, this can be kind of slow because analyzing does take a while but you know, screw this, I'm just going to stop it and yeah. So once you track all your points, um, you, can do this, you can do this before you check but you're going to make a new null object. And this is pretty much going to be the placeholder for all your positions that the tracker has recorded. So um, you're going to go to Edit Target, and if it's not already on the null object, you're going to select it. It's, pretty, it's, it's going to, for, by default, it's going to select the top most layer. So yeah. So select null object, and um, you're going to go to Apply, and X and Y coordinates. So if you go to X, it's going to only do the X coordinates, Y, you know, whatever. So you want to put the X and Y positions onto that null object. So just press OK, and boom. Here you have your null object, and you can see that the positions are, you know, it's, it's, it's tracked. It's tracked to that moon. And um, also one more thing, um, if you have these motion things and they're tracking, and you know, they can't get tedious, it can't get annoying, here are your tracker options, and you can just, um, you can display motion paths or you can uncheck that. So just uncheck it if you don't want these motion things. Uh, it can get annoying, but yeah, that's how you do it. So um, yeah, let's get to it. So I'm just gonna go right here and let's make a new layer. Show you solid. A new solid. Uh, I'm just gonna name it optical layer. Okay. I'm just going to put this under here, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm going to change this to add. Uh, you should already know how to do this because optical player, so... Um, yeah, let me just do this real quick. Um, so here you have your optical player. You're going to go down to your position. So here you have your position. And you're going to open to... You're going to... Whatever. You're going to open the position of your null object, so you're just going to press P to open the position. And you can see all your points right here. Let me zoom in. You can see all the points that are tracked. And um, here, give me one second again. Sorry about this. All right, I'm back. So um, you can see all your positions that are keyframed on that null object. Um, so pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to parent each. You're going to parent the position of the null object to the position of the optical flare. Which means that the optical flare position is going to be solely based on the position of the null object. So it's going to be the same position as the null object, pretty much. So um, I'm going to teach you how to do that. So pretty much you're going to go to Alt, you're going to Alt click this key, this time timer thing. So Alt click, and that'll bring this up. Let me just delete that. Um, you don't really have to, but you're going to get this like whip thing. This is your parenting tool. I'm just going to parent it to the position. And this should come up and just click out of it. And now the position of the optical flare is parented to the position of the null object. So you can go through the clip and it is, oh, my bad. It is, it is the position of the null object. And the null object is the position of the moon, which is what we tracked. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So as you can see, I stopped the motion tracking here, so that's why it's off. So um, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can play around, play around with the optical flare. 
stuff. So you know, I can. I'm not. I'm not. That's not a tutorial. Tutorial. So um, that's one way on how to motion share optical filters. Um, I might teach the uh, other way by using a camera. I'll, I might teach that in the future. But um, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, hope you guys like my first tutorial and um, good luck. See ya.